Hey everyone, it's your buddy Crypto Profit back with another video. And today we're going to be taking a quick look at the crypto market. Obviously, we see it down about 10% in the last 24 hours. There have been no winners in the last 24 hours for the most part. Obviously, if we take a look at the Coinbase assets, pretty much every single one is a loser. If we take a look at the only winners on the Coinbase marketplace, it's going to be Tether, Binance, USD, and DAI. Obviously, three stable coins right around that dollar range that we always see. If we take a look at what the theory may be, uh, you know, on Reddit, Fragsworth had a great prediction of what this, or I guess more of a uh, explanation of what he thought could be the theory of what is taking the market down. So we're going to talk about that today, as well as talk about this uh, article here. 7.6 billion in crypto long positions liquidated in one hour as Bitcoin plunges to 52,000. 7.6 billion in crypto long positions have been liquidated over the past hour as Bitcoin's price plunged to 52000 Bitcoin's price began to trend downwards early Saturday, but the steep plunge began around 3 UTC on Sunday. Bitcoin's price dropped by more than 10% over the past hour, from 58000 to below 52000 during which around $4.3 in Bitcoin long positions were liquidated. As of the time riding, Bitcoin's price has bounced back to about uh, 55000 Overall, $9.2 in crypto long positions have been liquidated in the last 24 hours, which is obviously a massive amount of money. If we take a look at... At right now, the Bitcoin price is still, you know, just barely above that $55,000 mark. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people are taking advantage. Like I said, uh, this is a great, great sale for a lot of people jumping into crypto. If you're new to crypto, uh, you are looking at very, very discounted prices. These prices uh, pretty much will go up. Obviously, guys, I'm not a financial advisor, so always do your own research before investing. But for the most part, these prices will not stay at this, uh, you know, price point for too much longer. As you know, there are so much potential behind these coins that have just tanks. Things like, uh, you know, Theta down to eleven twenty-five. It already went all the way into the ten-dollar mark um, as well. Ten eighty, I believe. Some are selling for ten seventy as well. Uh, you can see things like IOTA went from about two fifty all the way to about a dollar ninety as it's slowly kind of increasing now. We saw things like I think there was even Cardano went to about a dollar nineteen, a dollar eighteen around there. So just massive, massive decreases all around the market. Nobody was really safe. Ethereum did a pretty good job of withstanding a decent amount of it as well as Bitcoin. Uh, but let's talk more about the theory. So if we go to this Reddit post about Fragsworth, he talks about this explanation and theory of his. And I think this could definitely be an accurate theory. So explanation, the recent crash was probably due to margin accounts having a cascading crash on Binance. So he calls the people uh, degenerates the whole time. I'll just you know refer to them as degenerates since that's what he goes with. Degenerates on Binance with up to 150x leverage borrowing tethers to buy crypto have been building up their margin account balances to big numbers. And when they make money, they double down and build even bigger positions because they're degenerates. But when the price drip, uh, the price dips below a certain point, some degenerates who have these margin accounts are suddenly below maintenance limits. They get liquidated. When they get liquidated, Binance will sell your crypto for Tether and you are left with little to nothing. So what happened? Crypto got sold. Tether got bought. Because crypto got sold, the price drops, which triggers more accounts who, uh, you know, they thought they were safe to dip below their margin maintenance requirements. This creates a feedback cycle, which basically ends in the liquidation of all margin accounts. It ends all very fast cascading crash like we just saw. The bad news is the price is lower, but the silver lining, the good news, is that the market is now in a healthier position after this. Most of the unsustainable degenerate margin accounts are probably gone. If we go up to 60k in the next week, it's not because of borrowing as much. Going forward, at least for the near term, another event like this is not very likely. The price we see right now could be thought of as being closer to the real price which we would have, uh, you know, had without those degenerates in the first place. Uh, but he basically says overall he's not happy with Binance because, you know, Binance obviously uh, kind of created this mess in a very uh, weird way. So we go to the edit as well. He says, some people wanting more advice or uh, evidence to support, not advice, more evidence to support this theory. So I suggest you look at the price differences between the exchanges, Binance versus Coinbase, for instance. During the crash, you'll notice the exchange with leverage was significantly lower in price, which suggests bots were um, you know, going all about it, Coinbase down to match it. So additionally, note the tether price during the uh, crash we went which went up to that one, one dollar and about five cents. So, they do think uh, you know bots and uh, really just the altogether margin accounts had a lot to do with this. And 
you know, the more the more you uh, you know talk about it in the comments as well. If this guy says, "I just checked Tether's volume and market cap. It's a whopping 3.87." So that backs up your theory. Um, so in a few days, this guy says we'll be back to 58k. This is just liquidation of leveraged traders. More likely, we'll be up to 58k today, which is definitely a possibility as we continue to increase. Um, so I think we are going to be in the. Uh, we're going to start gaining all of this money obviously back in the crypto market right now we are at about that 10 percent range if we take a refresh we go down to that 9.41 percent uh, as we continue to get closer and closer to hopefully that green market yet again i think by the end of next week we will be seeing a very solid green market with increases all across the board this can actually raise a lot of new investors knowing that there is a very good buy-in point hopefully you guys are you know telling your friends your family uh you know this is a once in a lifetime possibility or opportunity at these low prices. I will say they are going to go up quickly. I think things like Cardano is going to be up to $1.30 by the you know Monday. I think things like Litecoin going to be close to $300 by the end of the week. Chainlink going to be back to 40 bucks by you know Tuesday or Thursday. Uh, v chain didn't really didn't really go down too much we're at 21 cents so v chain people you're doing well uh stellar lumens uh 20 decrease we saw theta with a 20 decrease and it's crazy to think you know theta went all the way i don't know if coinbase will really record it yeah 1083 it looks like was the uh drop and actually went all the way down to 928 so if you guys were able to snag a bag of theta at 928 you guys did amazing as we're already back to 1131 i know i snagged a bag i believe around 11 dollars. I, I grabbed a few uh, you know a few more small bags but we'll continue to see where theta increases uh we do talk about theta a lot on this channel so if you're interested in theta make sure to subscribe to the channel turn notifications on like the video and guys let me know about your guys's theories on what happened with the market here, uh, why this crash was so, I mean, absolutely massive. I'm sure a lot more people will be talking about it and we'll kind of get down to exactly what it was. I'm sure it could have been, a, you know, multiple different things really adding up together. We did have a very good, you know, couple last market days. So we did see huge increases. So we already were looking for maybe a small correction in the market. So adding this on to that, um, as well as a lot of new traders jumping into the marketplace that may have just sold as soon as they saw dips coming because they were kind of nervous, getting scared. Uh, you know, there's a lot of different things that could play into this massive decrease. But I mean, there's just a lot going on right now. So we'll continue to monitor this. Like I said, let's give it a quick refresh. So we still are at that 9.41% decrease. And like I said, there's so many, so many uh, coins that went on sale. So let's take a look at another one, Myota or Iota. Actually, as I accidentally clicked something there, but it went from all the way about 231. I mean, if we look all the way back, it was at 251 at 530 p.m. It dropped all the way down to $1.69. You're seeing massive, massive discounts on these coins. So hopefully, like I said, you guys were aware of these massive decreases and were able to take advantage of it. We were talking in our Discord as well as, I didn't actually tweet anything about it, but we were talking in the Discord about it. So if you guys aren't in the Discord or haven't followed me on Twitter, you can join the description in the in the description, I guess. There's going to be a link to the Discord. You can join us on Discord and talk about crypto things as soon as they happen, obviously. And then also follow me on Twitter, also linked in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Uh, we just wanted to give you guys a quick kind of explanation of what maybe took place yesterday. There's going to be a lot of theories coming out, and I think this one uh, you know, made a lot of sense. So we'll continue to talk about this, I'm sure, uh, for the rest of the day because there is going to be a lot of movement in a lot of these coins. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys all in the next one.